What is going on guys? So today we're back with another Pokemon Masters video and Okay So last night depending on when you're watching this video less than like 12 hours ago we started getting a ton of new information about the sync pairs that we're gonna get in February the legendary event that's coming uh, there the EX changes went live I'm, I'm like shaking right now um, so all of this stuff went live where all the following EXs are kind of reduced in difficulty I am gonna have um, like eight videos I think on like EX challenges whether it be how to beat them with NPCs how to beat them on auto all that stuff will still apply it'll just now be easier um, but yeah, whatever um, and then they fixed a couple of things you should have 50 gems in your um, in your present box here that was for an issue that they fixed um, but yeah so that's kind of the gist of it but the big thing is that with version 1.6 um, we should actually get all kinds of new information about February. So over in the Pokemon Masters Discord, this is r slash Pokemon Masters. Yeah, in in the in the Reddit's Discord for Pokemon Masters. I'm gonna give you a final warning: if you aren't into spoilers, if you don't want to be spoiled. This is where the spoilers start, so please click away. I always try to tell people that because I myself don't like to be spoiled nine times out of 10 for something. Um, it's just kind of the name of the game whenever you cover something like this. Either way though, that was your final warning. Let's go ahead and see. <laughs> Already, you can see we have new models. Kukui, we have Steven, and then we have this chick, Zinnia. I really hope I'm pronouncing that correctly. I'm really, really bad with it. So these are the models. So we have Kikui, which of course is from Sun and Moon. We have Steven, which is Gen 3. And then we have Zinnia, which pretty sure she's also Gen 3. I might be wrong on that, but I'm not well versed in anything after uh, like I'm not versed in any of the gens, let's just put it that way. So here we're going to take a look at what Pokemon those three trainers currently are, are going to have. And uh, let's see what kind of interesting stuff they've got. So Kakui actually has Lycanroc, which is just amazing. Uh, so this Lycanroc, as we already know, uh, Lycanroc with the Midnight form is insanely powerful with Olivia. This one's going to be a little bit different. It's a tech roll. Shut up, watch. I know it's time to wake up. I woke up early. It is going to have a weakness to water. Um, we are going to be able to uh, scout this trainer through the gotcha system, which is A-OK. -okay. It does release on the 30th. So as of today being the 27th, that means on Wednesday, we will actually be able to get Kakui. Now it's going to have Rock Tomb, Excel Rock, woo, refreshing, and Leer. So kind of interesting. Um, I mean, Lycanroc already has like a, uh, a pretty big reputation for being a huge damage dealer. Now we're going to have to distinguish all oh, Olivia and Lycanroc, not just Lycanroc, because this Lycanroc is not going to be necessarily in the same wheelhouse. Um, sync move, 250 power, everything looks fine there. Um, Pokemon removes physical and special damaging damage reducing effects from the opponent's field of play. That's kind of interesting. So we are getting a big shift now since the sync move from the enemy isn't going to be removing any of our buffs. I wonder if that means that we're just basically going to have to deal with a lot of debuffs from the enemy from now on, or if the enemy is just going to have tons of shields. That kind of sets that up to be true, maybe. Uh, it is going to have Surging Sand 5, and it's going to be able to uh, prevent flinching. So Acerola kind of getting a little bit more relevant here. Um, okay. Uh, Steven and Metagross, so of course this is a big one. Uh, he is going to be a physical striker. Steel type, of course. His weakness is to Ghost, which is really, really cool. Because it's Ghost. Um... He is going to release on the 14th. He is fair limited. So if you remember how they did with uh, Lance and Cynthia, those were pokey fairs. 
We are gonna have boosted rates, but they are gonna be limited time units here. So Steven falls into those. He's gonna have Meteor Mash, X Attack, Iron Head, and best there is. <clears throat> Holy cow. Uh, rates of the user's defense ensure that the user's next attack will be a critical hit. If Metagross has Mega Evolved, make the user able to endure the next hit it makes. So that's actually really cool. It has like an extra effect if you've already gotten off your Mega, which I guess that kind of spoils. We do have Solid Steel Meteor Mash, Physical Become Mega, po uh, Mega Metagross. I can't even freaking talk. Whew. Power Chain 3, which is going to power up uh, moves in a Unity bonus, and Impervious means stats, of course, cannot be lowered. We do get the Mega, which is really, really cool. Um, it is going to replace some moves, so we're going to get rid of Meteor Mash. Iron Head is going to take move one slot, but then we do have Bullet Punch actually taking over from uh, the Iron Head spot. So that's okay. 75 for 100. Um, I mean, it's better than Meteor Mash, I guess. Iron Head still makes the, uh, takes the cake there. Um, it has max uses of three on Bullet Punch. Oh, because it takes zero gauge? If that's true, that's insane. It's not going to have any, like, gauge that it reduces. That's, that's going to be nuts. I'm very, very interested to see that. And, of course, it is going to still have its two passives. So that's actually really cool. Zinnia with Rayquaza. Okay, so we all thought that it was going to be Kiram. I really do think that they planned that very well because they were like, oh, it's going to be in the glaciers, it's going to be ice, and rock type is going to be really good. Da, 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 da. Ice type makes so much sense right on the surface. There were a few people in Discord that were already on top of this. They were like, well, that doesn't make sense. Like, maybe it's going to be Rayquaza. Dude, crazy, crazy good thought process. But he is going to be a special striker, Dragon, weak to rock. Uh, he is going to release at the end of January on the 30th. So on Wednesday, we get Rayquaza. Oh, he is going to be scouted through a story method, which just means that we're going to have like a, an event that you grind out the tickets like we have been probably. He's going to have Aerial Ace, uh, Outrage, Stellar Imagination, and Draco Meteor. So... Oh man, that's so amazing. So Aerial Ace, of course, is never going to miss. Uh, Outrage is just insane. It is going to leave him confused. And he doesn't have... Oh man, he does not have a passive that prevents that. So that's kind of interesting. Uh, Stellar Imagination removes the confused flinching and trap conditions. Never mind, we're good. We're good. Sharply raises the user's attack and special attack. Raises the user's speed and accuracy. Sharply lowers the user's defense and special defense. So... Quite the big buff there, but we also do get a small little debuff in defense and special defense, so that's actually kind of cool. Um, move four, it's going to be Draco Meteor, sharply lowers the user's special attack. Okay, so he's basically going to be like just a, a crazy dragon all rolled into one. That's completely fine. Uh, he is going to have a dragon sync pair, uh, sync move, Jesus. And special, of course, 250, blah, 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 all that's good. Now, his one passive is powers up moves when weather conditions are in effect with weather surge 3. So, that's kind of interesting. Um, any kind of weather condition will actually boost him. I kind of like that because, you know, he's part of the weather trio. So, whether you want to throw him on a team with rain, whether you want to throw him on a team with sunny weather, whether you want to throw him on a team with sandstorm or hail like all that stuff sounds really really good so that's kind of the gist of what we've got so far um i i don't think there's going to be any more information that i can go over in this video um there's a ton of guys that are doing the data mine the data mining work um we did get all of this uh just legendary event dragon that rules the skies what's going to be called the strongest there is is for Steven, uh, Dragon Type Training Event, which is good. Run up to the six month celebration. I'm sure that's actually going to be like the uh, login bonus, which is good. We have Kakui Spotlight Scout. We have Steven Spotlight. Uh, once a month gym special. Another, you know, sale in the shop. Special login bonus, which would be great. Legendary Event login bonus, going to be great. Uh, earn amazing rewards as a community. That kind of sounds interesting. Victory Point Rally Rewards. Victory Point login bonus, Brendan and Lyra Spotlight Scout, so maybe a grass type training event coming at the end of February maybe? 
Um, Mission Bingos, of course, and The Dragon That Rules the Sky 1, 2, and 3. So, holy cow, there is a lot of stuff going on. I swear, if you have left Pokemon Masters for whatever insane reason that you've left and that you're still watching this video, um, it, I mean, maybe this is going to bring you back. <laughs> this is pretty insane. So, anyways, I've got to uh, finish getting ready for work. I've got to head to work. So, I'm going to go ahead and leave it at that. Let me know all your guys' little speculations down in the comments. I'd love to know what you're going to be doing as far as team ideas with Rayquaza. Are you excited for Kakui? Everybody seemed to be excited for him in the Discord, which is amazing. Um, and, of course, we have Steven. Everybody was talking about getting Steven. And they drop him on us, like almost immediately after Lance and Cynthia, which is amazing. So we get him rather, rather quickly, which I really like. I, I know it's gonna kinda like maybe slow down later on, like maybe they're pumping it all out for the six month anniversary, but either way, man. Uh, anyway, so that is actually gonna be it for this video, guys. Thanks. You see how flustered I am? I started to end this video without even doing a sync fair scout. Ugh. So let's do this here. Um, I don't really know necessarily which one we need. Not really like a big deal on either one, but uh, I, I guess we just need Elisa still at this point. So let's just try to go for that. On the count of three, if you want to follow along, we're going to go in one, two, three. No flash animation. No Elisa coming today, but that's okay. We got plenty of good news. We've already had so much good news in the last little bit. We do have a four star antenna though. Does that mean we get something decent? Is it five star? It's only four star doors. That's great. We get a Chantal, which is another four star power up. So that works out perfectly. I'm going to go ahead and head out. I've already done this outro once. I'm very sorry. I'm just too excited, man. I'm so excited. Thank you for hanging out. Thank you for watching. If you want to join the Discord, it is going to be linked down in the description below. Also down there are links to Patreon and YouTube memberships if those are your thing. I am going to go ahead and head out. Yes, for sure this time. Uh, but I will catch you guys in the next video.